That got a little heated. Are you all right? Well, that depends. How angry is Cassandra? I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. You could have told us about Corypheus sooner. I found out he was involved at exactly the same time you did. Until he showed up at Haven, I thought he was dead. Nothing we saw at the summit made me think he'd been there. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. My friend. I need to know more about Corypheus. You shamed him when you destroyed Haven. Spoiled his glorious victory. It would be worse to acknowledge that you had done so. You must continue on his course or show weakness. He will return to his plans to throw Olay into chaos and then conquer it for Devinta. I'd like to know more about you, Solus. Why? You're an apostate, yet you risked your freedom to help the Inquisition. Not the wisest course of action when framed that way. I appreciate the work you're doing, Solas. I just wanted to know more about you. I'm sorry. But there's so much fear in the air. What would you know of me? We'll talk later. Goodbye. Inquisitor. Yes? Do you think that you and I might someday... You and I? Don't be absurd, my dear. Inquisitor. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate. Based on a partial improvements to Skyhold. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Anything interesting? A letter regarding Felix, Alexius' son. He went to the Magisterium, stood on the Senate floor and told them of you. A glowing testimonial, I'm informed. No news on the reaction, but everyone back home is talking. Felix always was as good as his word. Was? He's dead. The Blight caught up with him. Are you all right? He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. It doesn't mean you can't regret his death. I know. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinter could use more majors like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. Were the two of you... Felix and I? What an odd question. No, I had no intention of abusing Alexius's hospitality by seducing his son. Not that I've been proper my whole life by any means. It wasn't like that. Even in illness, Felix was the best of us. With him around, you knew things could be better. You make it sound like he was a better person than you. What a mad thing to say. Few people are better than I. Very well, a better person, clearly, not nearly as handsome. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas.
your worship. I need but a moment of your time. My Lord Inquisitor, it's good of you to speak with me. I have news regarding one of your companions, the De Winter. <sighs> Has Dorian done something wrong? No, thankfully. It's nothing like that. I have been in contact with his family. House Pavas, out of Carinas. Are you familiar with them? He's mentioned his family. They don't appear to be on good terms. Yes. I believe you're correct. The family sent a letter describing the estrangement from their son and pleading for my aid. They've asked to arrange a meeting quietly without telling him. They fear it's the only way he'll come. Since you seem to be on good terms with the young man, I'd hoped... Just what kind of meeting do they have in mind? I believe they just want to talk, to understand why Dorian felt he had to come here. Somewhere private, away from Skyhold, but not in Tevinter. You make them nervous, I think. They don't understand why he's here with the Inquisition. They want him to come home. What happens if Dorian doesn't agree? Hopefully that will be the end of it. If not... Well... That's why you should be there. They don't want Dorian to know? That seems odd. They believe the young man would refuse. And the letter implies he'd have cause. Yet, they are remorseful for whatever came before. This is a chance for dialogue. There is deceit in bringing the young man to this meeting without his foreknowledge, I know. But does it not lead to a greater kindness if there is potential for reconciliation? Why would his family contact you? Because they don't know you, Inquisitor. I am not of the Imperial Chantry. But they know what I represent. These are parents concerned about the welfare of their son. How could I not do whatever possible? I would speak to the young man myself, but he does not care for me. Thus I come to you. If any good can come of this, we must try. Are you sure this isn't some kind of trap? I mean, the secrecy. That did occur to me. What if it is a plot of those mages, the Venatori? Another reason to put this in your hands, Inquisitor. I pray that isn't the case. But if it is, you are far better equipped than I to respond to such treachery. If you think I'm going to trick Dorian into meeting his family... Oh, I feared you might say that. The family will send a retainer to meet the young man at the Red Cliff Tavern, to take him onward. If he truly does not wish this reunion, he can always end the matter there. I pray you change your mind, Inquisitor. Perhaps their letter will persuade you. If there is any chance of success in this, it behooves us to act. Inquisitor. I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we are to receive any visitors of distinction. The people coming know we just survived Corypheus and a dragon. And they must be confident we are able to do so again. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe here. Do you not feel safe here? I've had... difficulty... forgetting Corypheus' attack on Haven. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash.
We lost far too many good people to that monster. I'm sure they'll find rest with the Maker. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lord. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. I'm loath to part from such pleasant company. Would you care to walk the castle with me? Oh, well, a tour then? Let me fetch the steward. That isn't precisely what I was hoping for. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Now I must find someone to prepare the guest quarters. When I find out who's been throwing fresh bread up on the battlements, there'll be consequences. Mark my words. Strange. Yesterday I thought I saw someone taking a loaf, but I... Well, I can't quite recall. 